this is a really, really important video. Um, there is a big push at the moment to make long answer questions more important in science. Um, so there's definitely going to be one six mark question, if not two, maybe a six mark and a five mark, maybe a six mark, five mark and a four mark, and they're all looking for the same sort of thing. So when you get into the exam, what you're probably going to see um, is a big block of text and then a question at the bottom. What I want you to do is to find the question. I want you to get your highlighter pen, highlight some keywords. It's really, really important that you have a highlighter pen or a pen in a different colour or, you know, a pen that you really like. It could be a, a sparkly peach flavoured pen or it could just be a black biro. I don't really mind as long as it's not a, question, a pen. And then go through highlighting all of the important bits of information in the text. This will make it really, really easy when you're writing to be able to pick out the key points and not just see a massive block or maybe quite intimidating text in front of you. Using a highlighter pen will make it really easy for you to break it down and interpret all the information. So I want to talk to you about command words because these are really, really important. Um, there are a few command words that come up quite often, describe, explain, evaluate, and advantages and disadvantages. So this is how I explain it in class. So first of all, describe what I'm wearing. I am wearing a red dress and shoes, and I have short hair. So that's basically, you know, what can you see? Explain what I am wearing. I am wearing a smart dress because I'm at work and I'm a professional and I want to come across well. Um, I have short hair because I have a baby and he pulls hair all the time. So the shorter it is, the less chance you have of getting hold of it. So you can see the difference between describe and explain. Explain why am I wearing these things. Describe what am I wearing. Evaluate. Oh, this is always a tricky one because you have to give an opinion. You have to say what you think. So I think this is a good outfit because blah 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 or I don't think this is a good outfit because blah blah blah. Either of those opinions will get you the marks as long as you back up why with reasons. And advantages and disadvantages. This is um, a great question if it comes up. I'll come on to that a bit more in a couple of slides time. So describe what can you see, how is it, explain why is it like that, evaluate, you need to give an opinion, say why, you need to say the good bits and you need to say the bad bits. If an advantages and disadvantages question comes up, what you can do is just draw a table, divide your page into two and if it's going to be a six mark question, make sure you say three good things and three bad things about it. Now the marking for this is going to be a best fit model, um, it's going to be related to your scientific key points, it's going to be related to your quality of written communication and the examiner has to decide do you fit in this box, do you fit in this box or do you fit in this box. So it's not just as simple as saying you know here are six really good things that won't get you the marks even though you've made six points. You need to say six um, some good things, some bad things, you need, you need to answer the question. And then lastly, you have to pay attention to your spelling, punctuation and grammar. This is a big part of this question. You need to have your full stops, you need to have your capital letters, and you need to have your spelling or scientific keywords correct. Thanks for watching. I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions or requests, down below please.